And ICICI Bank now has come out with a good set of quarter two earnings. Numbers have come above estimates while names are slightly lower. Gaurav is joining us on phone line to do the number crunching for us. Gaurav, uh, take us through all these details from ICICI Bank, the results quarter two. Well, yes, when we talk about ICICI Bank, we have seen a good set of numbers after a very long time when we talk about the banks. We have already seen some banks actually underperforming, but ICICI Bank has clearly outperformed the expectation. When we talk about net interest income, that has gone up almost by 9.5%. PPOP has gone up sharply by 17.5%, and PAT has gone up almost by 14.5%. When we talk about the overall expectation, when we talk about pre-provision operating profit and profitability, that was over and above what the street was expecting. Other than that, when we talk about advances, there also we have seen a healthy growth of around 15%. Deposits also grew at around 16%, which was higher than the street's expectation, as well as higher than the industry average that we have seen. On the other hand, when we talk about net interest margins, then we have seen a fall of about 9 basis points, which was a tad lower than expectation. But overall, when we talk about the commentary, management has said that NIMS are likely to remain range-bound. Other than that, on the asset quality, there is no negative surprise on the bank. Banks, GNPS and NNPS both have improved in, on, in a sequential basis and also banks have said that they have actually seen delinquencies, but they have already taken precautionary steps and that is the reason why the bank's asset book remains healthy. Overall, what they're saying is that they have taken a little bit of moderation in the personal loan segment and that might be the reason why NIMS have gone down almost by nine basis points. But overall, when it comes to numbers as well as the commentary, we have seen a good set of numbers. Commentary has also been stable from ICICI Bank. So after, after, after quite a few time when of quite, quite some time when banks have reported weak set of numbers, it seems that ICICI Bank has come up with a, a strong numbers and a good set of numbers for second quarter of FY25. And let's also listen in what management of ICICI Bank had to say on provisions and personal loan segment. Listen in. Taking a comparison from the uh, previous year, the total provisions, as I mentioned, in Q2 was 1,233 crore rupees, compared to a provision of 583 crores in Q2. And in Q2 of 2024, these were lower due to a very healthy corporate and recoveries and upgrade which happened during that period. There has been a moderation in uh, rate of growth. In fact, if you look at what was the growth rate in June of 24 was about 25 percent, and in September of 23 was about 40 percent. Uh, though credit cards has largely been growing. In, uh, about in the same range in September 23 was 30 percent now it has come down to 28 percent so clearly there has been a moderation in the uh, person uh, loan growth but fundamentally when we are looking at growth we try to look at it from a overall risk calibrated fashion and as long as the customers are meeting the thresholds uh, we are happy to uh, grow our uh, grow our portfolio if you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.